Hey everyone, I am Mike of Mike and Test Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword Version. In the last episode, we, well, explored Hammerlock City, and we're told to head on towards Route 6, which is what we're going to do right now. <laughs> we're heading to Stow on Side. Interesting name for a town. I'm okay with it, though. And, oof, it's hot in this route. Ugh. There's like, there's like sun, and a Pokemon, and a Team Yell. What a cute, silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. Sure. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure silly cobra gets a nice, peaceful sl He's awake. <laughs> Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it would be our pleasure. <laughs> She's not a gym challenger, so she gets to go. But we are. Oh, hey Mike. You're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fond of the kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silla Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Mike? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stow on Side. I'll battle him. You... that's the spirit. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silly Cobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days. Well, we've got no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silly Cobra. -da -da! And we get to battle the Team Yell Grunt. <laughs> yeah, Hop's a little down right now, but um... Hello, Stunky. That's a very good first fight for Appa. And yes, the sunlight is harsh, and as you can see, the levels have spiked. He is now stronger than the last gym leader we fought. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because I have sheer force boosted bulldoze on my side. Doesn't lower his speed, but does do some damage. <laughs> and Appa's, well, pretty solid on the... Uh, on the defensive side, as well as the offensive side. He will get really good when he evolves, but um, for now, he's just, you know, he's a cute little elephant. I mean, hence, hence the name Q-Fan. <laughs> and a Linoon, you know what? I've got coverage for you, too. Play rough. Ooh, you're boosting your attack and accuracy. That would be scary if I thought you were going to live. Uh, he might, actually. Really? This is why I use 100% accurate moves, because, like, how many times have I missed a 90 or 95% accuracy so far? Like, a lot. I know that. <sighs> and of course your attack was lowered. That would have done more. And uh-oh. Ow! That boosted attack actually came in handy for him. <sighs> All right, Brooke. <laughs> Up your first bat. I mean, you won the first fight, and then a miss cost you the second. Um, you know what? It's sunny. Flamethrower gets stronger in the sun. So let's see my physical tank almost get KO'd. Wow. Yeah, it is rare in the Pokemon games that your uh, main team would be out level uh, by random trainers, but it happens here. Um, I actually kind of like it. It's a pretty big level spike. Um, blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Get some money. <laughs> Think I'll leave this to you, Mike. Keep up the pace. Oh, right, there's two in a row. Well, then. <laughs> oh, no. My Q fan already got knocked out. But you know what? It's a Lipard. It's probably going to fake me out. So I'll take that chance, too. Use one of my many, many revives on Appa. <laughs> and yep, just what I thought you'd do. And uh, Brooke, you're whew, you're lo not looking like you're in the best shape right now anyway. So, why not bring out our newest friend? I mean, again, facing a dark type that's fully evolved seems like a risk, but um, I don't think it's going to be using... I'm so sad right now because 
Now my accuracy is lower, and I'm using a not 100% accurate move. But yeah, I didn't think you'd have a dark type move. Or use one, at least. Come on, Appa. Hit through it anyway. Or not. You know, whatever whatever you want to... Oh, man, you do have a dark type move. I am so, so sad right now. Um, Ringo, get in there, buddy. <laughs> and I want to keep Appa up to pace with the rest of the team, so I'm going to revive him again. Yay! Uh, if it wasn't for missing, this would be going so much better right now. So much. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Don't like it when they use the accuracy dropping and uh, and they cause the missing and the whatevers and yeah just disappointments all around Ringo please just hit it and end this battle ah Ringo come on I know you've been sand attacked twice but you know still and it's just Fury Swipe. Of course, she hasn't missed with a move that is not 100% accurate. Ow. Really? Three misses? This is just, like, the worst. <laughs> switch out. Just, just, just switch out. Uh, I hate battles like this. We're like, it's not like I'm making any mistakes. I mean, technically... You know, reviving Appa was technically a mistake. But I'm just missing all everywhere because of Sand Attack that has Prankster on it, so I can't outspeed it no matter what I do. I shouldn't have used Waterfall there. I just got frustrated. <laughs> but it worked anyway. Okay. Finally. So, like I said, Team Yell. Not a joke anymore. Um, as you can see, worth a lot of experience there. But yeah, they level up. Um... And they use annoying strategies. I mean, think about it. If it wasn't for missing, I would have won that pretty easily. But with all the, you know, accuracy drops and just natural misses and them boosting moves on the line Oon, <laughs> it was a tough fight. Mike, you and QFAM are brilliant together. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> See, Bead really worked the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak, too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm going to have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Mike. Aw, poor Hop. He's feeling all down. And the silver cup was just like, I didn't notice anything that was happening. I was just here. <laughs> Anyway, you're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Ah! <laughs> my name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. We, we got her league card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. How did you sneak up on me like that? Yeah. That was not the best way to start this route. <laughs> and my team is <laughs> very banged up, so I'll see you guys in just a minute after I've healed. Okay, and we're back. Uh, so yeah, I actually recommend when you go through the wild area, use the experience candies and level up your team to like 31, 32 should probably work, because otherwise you're going to be out leveled here. Um, yeah, the Route 6 is kind of where the game takes a jump, and of course, it being sunny weather means that, well, water moves are going to be weaker, fire moves are going to be stronger, uh, solar beam will hit in one turn, so, you know, things change. Um, and you have a fairy type, and Appa is a steel type. Ha ha ha! That's what I was expecting battles to go like with him. Oh no! Cute! You got KO'd though. That no longer matters. Neat. 
and Appa hits level 29, just like the rest of the team. But you're sending out another fairy type, so yeah. Um, <laughs> the benefit of being underleveled like I am is, oh my gosh, this could be literally anything. Okay. <laughs> I will accept a non-stab physical move on a but not physical attacker. There you go, Appa. Wow, one shot without even a crit. That is some power. That's sheer force kicking in, and wow! <laughs> Four levels at once! That's crazy! <laughs> uh, Chomper's learning counter. You do not need counter. You are not a counter user. Ringo wants to learn slam. That is too inaccurate. If it was body slam, I'd probably say yes. But your Pokemon are way too strong. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But yeah, the benefit of being underleveled is that, well, that's an Axu. Hi, buddy. Um, is that you gain levels fast. But this is a new route with new Pokemon to rate. Starting with the common one, Galarian Mask. Um, interesting uh, that a Univin Pokemon gets a Galarian form here. And um, I like it. I like the, the fact that they gave a later Pokemon, well, a new form. Uh, Galarian Yamask is a ground ghost type Pokemon. Um, with It's another one with a new evolution. Um, it doesn't evolve into Kofagrigus anymore. Instead, it evolves into Runrigus, which is, well, also a ground and ghost type. Now, that evolution is highly difficult to create. Um, I believe it's that it has to take 49 damage or more in a single battle, and then you have to stand in the right place in the wild area. It's, it's real confusing. Um, but in exchange, you get a, well, a physical tank. Um, well, actually, a physical defender. Let, let, me, let me change that. Because it's not an offensive Pokemon. It is... Yamask and its Galarian counterpart here have always been more defensive Pokemon, a stalling type. Um, but this one has a pretty good physical attack and a huge move pool to choose from. Now, its lack of really finishing moves and the fact that it doesn't have access to some of the stalling moves it used to have access to. Kind of hurt it a little. It gets a 7 out of 10 for in-game use, but if you're looking for a good ground type or a good ghost type at this point, it's worth it's worth looking into. I'm not going to be picking one up right here, though. Instead, I'm going to be hopping down here. Because there's items. And I like items. Um, <laughs> but there is another Pokemon who can be found in grass patches in Route 6, who I need to run into. It's not Tuscan. <laughs> uh, there's actually two Pokemon that I need to run into here. One is not a new Pokemon, but I will be catching it, and it will not be joining my team. And I think at this point you know exactly what that means is going to happen with it. Um, so I will be right back when I run into one of the two new Pokemon I need to find. All right, found it. Uh, in the grass here in Route 6, um, not in the overworld, is Silicobra, the very Pokemon we saw Team Yell, well, <laughs> defending. Um, Silicobra here is a pure ground-type Pokemon who is, well, a physical tank. Um, he is interesting in that he has an ability, Sand Spit, which allows him to, um, if he's hit by a move, he produces Sandstorm, <laughs> which is a very interesting one. And Sandstorm's good for a ground-type, so... It's useful. He's also got really good coverage, and um, yeah, he's a he's just another physical tank ground type Pokemon. There's a lot of them, but um, he's a he's a pretty darn good one. Uh, his coverage and his unique ability give him an eight out of ten in game use uh, rating for in game use. That is again not going to be catching one here, but he's a very good addition to your team. Um, he's a he's a he's a good Galarian Pokemon basically. So if you need a ground type and well. You just need a ground type. He's better than the Galarian Yamask. Um, the other one I can find in the overworld. Ooh, Doug Trio here are rough. They have Arena Trap, which means you can't run away from them. Um, and, you know, my fast Pokemon is an electric type. So I actually used a... Are you serious right now? Well, I guess I'll be able to show it. <laughs> There's a chance you don't have Arena Trap. You could have Sandvale instead, so it's worth trying to run. All right, cool. If they have Arena Trap, you can use a Polka Doll to run away from them. Um, and they're hard to see in the overworld, as, as you saw there. Um, they're... Ah! 
They're so small and I can't see them! Ugh. All right, I'll be right back when I find the other overworld Pokemon. All right, there you are. <laughs> so the Pokemon that I need to catch here is Maractus. Um, it's an older Pokemon. It's a grass type. It's not very interesting. Um, honestly, it's claimed to fame as being the second best cactus-based grass type Pokemon, which is uh, not exactly a great claim to fame, but... Um, <laughs> I am going to be catching it here for something that will be obvious in the next town. Um, wow, that did a surprising amount of damage, although you are level 33, so I <laughs> I'm a little underleveled, as you can see. Ah, that's a full heal in the sun. Or, well, for you, anyway. I think it's like 75% or something. Still, you are... Paralyzed, and I am biting you. You should not be able to move. I am now annoyed at the fact that you are able to move. So often. Just, just, you know. Stay hurt. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, continue to flinch and or paralyze. Okay, that was a crit. Okay, there we go. And now I can catch it. Well, I'll throw a great ball at it. Why not? Again, Pokeballs. All types of Pokeballs. Super easy to get in this game. I mean... Okay, that's annoying. Um... Throw another great ball at you. Come on. Stay in the ball. All these little Pokemon that have no impact on my team and I have to catch because I want to show everything. <sighs> So difficult to catch for no reason. Okay, excellent. <laughs> and of course, catching experience on the Pokemon in my party who <laughs> needs the least amount of experience for anything. Oof, rough. But anyway, we caught a Maractus and, well, we're going to need him soon. So it's a good thing we grabbed him. Um, but of course... He's definitely not a part of the team because he's an older Pokemon and we have a better grass type anyway and lots of reasons, really. <laughs> but anyway, coming up, we have a double battle that I could see. And that ladder over there has nothing up it, so there's no point. But these two looks like doctors. Well, I mean, one's dressed like a doctor and one's dressed like a scientist, but medical team, that works. <laughs> And a Pawneard and a Togetic. Wow. All right. <laughs> we will accept this. <laughs> um, Appa, you're... Yeah, yeah. That'll... that'll. Oof, man. I do not have anything that hits Pawneard right now. Really? Ringo, could you hit something ever? Maybe. Please. At some point. <laughs> might just be called the missing episode. Oof. But Appa gets the... <laughs> just seems to have a specialty in one-hitting fairy types. Dig is not better than Bulldoze on you. It doesn't get the, um... the boost. I could Bulldoze for super effective damage, but that would hurt Ringo too. So I'd rather just try to go for a nice little double battling combo. Lower its defense. And then watch as it does something probably annoying. Oh. 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 That, that's my bad, Ringo. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot it had Defiant. I mean, that's what I was going for. Lower its defense and then hit it with a strong neutral move. So that... that's something. <laughs> Uh Yeah, this is this is just the episode where nothing goes right for me and my team. But we still won the battle. We just have to go heal again. Yay. Okay, so team is healed up and time to take some of these ladders. Those ladders led to the same place. <laughs> Came from far away to watch the gym challenge. Hmm, so the gym challenge even draws, well, fans from across the globe. 
wonder if you'll have a non-Valerian Pokemon. So, sort of. I mean, you're, you know... You're a Univin Pokemon who can be found in Galar. <laughs> and... A strong one. Ow! Really? With the critical hits? I mean... Sheesh! <laughs> Ringo. Let's see what you do. Uh, gonna count on the Overgrowth boost to kick in and... It was a speed tie. So, Ringo's guaranteed to lose this right now because it was a speed tie and now he doesn't have... the win. Um, Brook! <laughs> gonna sub you in because you can wall anything it does. You're really good against fighting types. <laughs> <laughs> and don't really care about the drop in speed. Because you're kind of slow anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. This is the this is the nothing goes right episode for my team. I should have used Flamethrower. It doesn't matter. He's going to fail it anyway. Um, yeah, this is just a nothing goes right episode. Whew. Rough. Rough times for, for Team Mike today. <laughs> But yeah, this route is is tough unless you unless you you know raise up your team in the wild area. This route is probably gonna you know do some damage to you. Um, it's kind of designed to do that. So you know, I didn't take any advantage of the wild area grinding, so um, my team's having a tough time. And uh, I can just heal off with with some items now. I am running low on. Super potions! It's like the one thing that you don't pick up often in the wild area, and I don't do much shopping in this game. I don't need to. But you know what? Chompers, Simbrook, take the lead here. Uh, maybe you guys will have an easier time with this. Okay, which one is the ladder forward? Don't remember. This looks like a nice little non-forward moving area. Two fossilized dinos. Two of them. Hmm. Right there. Interesting. But we can go down the ladder here. Skirt around and get a light clay, which is actually very useful if you're using um, Reflected Light Screen. Extends the turns on those. And of course, we've got more stuff off to the right here. We've got a free TM for Dig. <laughs> which is in front of the giant Diglet statues that are glorious. And, well, there's three of them, so it's... I mean, they're not a dog trio, but they are three Diglett statues. And there's a camp here, and I don't want to pay them a visit. <laughs> but the Dig TM right in front of the Diglets, great. And this lady here has a strange device. Name's Kara Liss. I am researching fossils, huh? Hmm, you've got some fossils there. Will you show them to me, Kara Liss? Yes. Which of your fossils do you think stands up to the high speed of Kara Liss? I have a fossilized bird. And a fossilized dino. Sure. She's going to restore them together. <laughs> In her little thing. Her little machine. Which creates a brand new Pokemon. <laughs> yes. The fossil Pokemon in Galar work differently. Arctozult here is, well, I believe the most common one in the sword in sword version. It's I I don't I don't know them for sure. But um I guess I'll start raiding him. Um, I'm not going to be using him or giving him a nickname. But the way the fossils work is there are four fossils. Fossilized dinos, fossilized drakes, fossilized birds, and fossilized fish. Um, the Arctozolt that I have just picked up and will be boxing, but I'm going to be showing off here, is an electric ice type form from bird plus dino. Um, the, the type of fossil determines the type of the Pokemon. So, Arctozolt here is, uh, he's a slow mixed attacker, as in his speed is slow, and he's got, you know, decent offenses-ish, um, and Electric and Ice is a very good offensive type combination. The problem is, he's also in the slow experience group, which means that he's a Pokemon who's not going to move very quickly, and a Pokemon who's not going to level up very quickly, which makes him, whew, difficult to use in-game. Electric Ice is a fantastic offensive typing, but not a good defensive typing. They don't cover each other's weaknesses at all. Um, so he's got a lot of weaknesses and is pretty much always going to be going second in a battle. 
So he gets a 6 out of 10 for in-game use. Again, anyone in the slow experience group really has a hard time in-game because you have to just train them so much more than other Pokemon. Um, the other options that you can get here will be throwing up on screen because I do not want to farm all of the fossils. Uh, you can get fossils in your own game, like your version's fossils, by going through the wild area, but the ones that are common in the other version, you have to go to the skilled digging duo brother, which huh, is just for relying on luck for two specific items. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> so the other ones, um, Draco's ult can be found by combining a fossilized bird with a fossilized uh, Drake. It is a dragon electric type Pokemon which you have to make sure that it has Volt Absorb for its ability. Its other ability is terrible and will hurt it. Um, so make sure that it has Volt Absorb. But again, it is a very slow gaining experience Pokemon. Actually, all of the fossils are. Um, so it's an all around Pokemon. Doesn't really have any one stat that stands out in particular, good or bad. Uh, so it's also going to get a 6 out of 10 for in-game use. Dragon Electric is a better defensive typing, but a weaker offensive typing than Ice Electric. So eh. <laughs> um, up next, Arctovish, combined with a fossilized um, fish and a fossilized dino. It is a water ice type, which is a pretty common typing, uh, but it's not a very good, well, Pokemon of that typing. It's, again, a slow mixed attacker um, with a good amount of diversity, but a slow experience gain. And again, if there's if you're interested in a water ice type Pokemon, there's much better ones to be found in the game. So again, six out of ten for Arcovish. Now Dracovish, combined with a fossilized Drake and a fossilized fish, is the best of the bunch. Um, he made a lot of noise in the early parts of the Gen 8 metagame because of his ability, Strong Jaw, mixed with his move, Ficious Rend which gains power if it's, I think if it's used first or something. Um, but anyway, it's a biting style move. That's a water type move, so it gets stabbed, plus the strong draw juice boost, plus a boost from going first. It's kind of a ridiculously powerful move. And Dracovish is an all-around Pokemon, um, so he's not, again, not good or bad at anything in particular. Now, in the metagame, that can be specialized, and he can, you know, you can build a team around a ridiculously powerful move, but in-game, that's not really as realistic a strategy. So unless you're playing on basically just using him, he's just a water dragon type, which is a good type. I mean, really good defensive typing. Um, but it doesn't really, you know, lend itself to fitting onto an in-game team as well. Now, it's not bad. The slow experience slows it down, and then, you know... The fact that it's kind of specialized is weird, but it still gets a 7 out of 10 for in-game use. Better than the other fossils, but not not a great Pokemon overall. But still, the, the fact that there are four fossil Pokemon to pick up here, rather than, you know, the more common, like, there's just two in each region, is, is a good... It, it's nice. It's nice to have options. But that's all the new Pokemon found here on Route 6, so time to just, well, finish exploring the route. Hello! You have an interesting coat. You're a model. Shouldn't models not be in harsh sunlight in jackets? <laughs> like, why are you wearing a heavy coat when it's a bajillion degrees outside? It's a, it's a strange choice there. But anyway, the sunlight being harsh means that water moves are not a good idea. Fortunately, Compress doesn't need his water type moves. Especially not against the bu- How did you live?! No, seriously, I am very shocked by that. I mean, I know Skorupi can be tough defensively, but... Yeesh. He's not expecting a non-KO from Choppers there. <laughs> yeah, well. You got the KO anyway, and it's not like it was going to do much damage to you. Whee! <laughs> and a Ponyard. You know what? I will switch out. Rook, Rook could use some experience, I think. I think that would be a good a good use of time. And you know, it's sunny, and Brooke was recently taught flamethrower because I wanted her to have the fire move. <laughs> <laughs> so why not take advantage of the sun and blast a poniard in the next week? That'll work, right? And gain a level. Excellent. 
And we have defeated Model Nicola. Even if I lose who I am, the charm of Pokemon will never fade. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's see. Chompers, you're still level 30, so we'll keep you out front for now. And over there is a trainer, but down here is a ladder. And I could see interesting things from the ground earlier. And now I can... Ooh, a trainer! <laughs> Are you filling your curry decks? No. This might be. But I am not. <laughs> Ooh, a throw! You're... Oh. You're not a good matchup for me right now. Um, Chompers, give it one turn. See what a headbutt does. Because I know it's pretty slow compared to you. Ouch. And that's a guaranteed crit. Whew. Okay, then. So, like I thought, not a good matchup. Brooke, you are my... Well, actually, you're my counter to just a lot of things in general right now. <laughs> um... I mean, which is kind of why I added you to the to the team, because solid defensively, I mean, that was a crit stab move from a very strong physical attacker, and it did very little. Um, and you're my special attacker. Not that that matters all that much against the throw, but still. Yeah. Flamethrower. Boosted in sunlight. Kapow. Wow, that did not do much. Okay, so, again, now I am catching up level-wise to, well, the opposing Pokemon that we're seeing. Um, but they're still pretty... Oh, that was a smart move on your part. Revenge gets boosted, if, you know, if it gets hit. I don't think Brook can take another hit. So, yeah, more, more healing is in order. Um, yeah, never thought I'd do so much healing during, during a battle, <laughs> but, um, we're using revenge. Yeah, it's a lot weaker without, without taking damage. It's literally twice as strong if you've taken damage in the same turn. So, and it always goes last. No, not Pokemon. Fight. Flamethrower. Burn, baby, burn. Right? Really? An assert- <laughs> Maybe I could use a ghost type! Uh, you just- you just brought out the- Okay, well then, Chompers, get your revenge. <laughs> oh, the video where nothing goes right. That's what this is. At least Chompers gotta level up. And we got more experience for Brock. Strength of you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. You might want to get that looked at. That that doesn't seem like a common side effect of a Pokemon battle to me. <laughs> but anyway, up here there's a berry tree, but I don't I don't use berry trees really. But there's also a TM for Steel Wing. Interesting. It'd be good if, you know, if you're using a flying-type Pokemon. I am not. <laughs> um, I have kind of... Oh, no. Durant, you are fast. And Appa is very slow. I was hoping to not run into anything. Okay, now you're even faster. Cool. Good, good for you. Can I run away now? Can I, can I just... I just, just, just run. Okay, fine. Bye, bye. You want to do this? You want? You want? You want? You want to go, Durant? All right, we'll we'll go. We'll 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 take out some frustrations. Cause you know you're a bug and steel type. <laughs> you use big on a levitating Pokemon. Who's slower than you? And you're a bug steel type in the extreme sun. Ready? 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 Burn. Wow, that was dark. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to go, bro. Nice little, nice little quick KO there. 
now Appa Girl level. <laughs> so yeah, levels are easily gotten at this stage in the game if you're, you know, if you're under leveled like I am. Okay. But again, my Pokemon are getting beat up. That is the exchange, apparently. And over here, I saw something sparkly. Ooh, piece of candy. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, good rewards uh, for you know exploring all of this of this difficult route. Um, ladders are slow. It's, it's slow climbing. Though. You sir, you look artsy, and you're holding a statue, and you're talking about art. I'm going to guess artist. Oh, that's that's a face. That's 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 not what I think of when I think artist. But sure, you, uh, you look like you've sent out a Pokemon that's like a perfect... Oh, hey, there's Coughing's other ability. Um, negates other Pokemon's abilities, so pretty interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that, I mean, I prefer Levitate, especially for an in-game team, but, um, for the metagame, I know Neutralizing Gas has had an impact, so pretty cool. But Appa, you are... It's impossible that he can't hurt you. He might have assurance, though. Oh, but you've neutralized my ability. Which means that my attacks now have secondary effects. Of course, now you've negated the speed drop. But it doesn't matter because I have speed you anyway. Interesting. But yeah, neutralizing gas just wipes out all Pokemon's abilities. Um, until it leaves the field. So, yeah. Now I have my abilities back. Not the... That is going to matter. Hey, a Sudowoodo! Something Ringo can actually fight on this route. I'm so happy. <laughs> He's just been having a rough time of it. I mean, everybody had a rough time of it on this route. This, this was a rough one. Woo! There's not even that many trainers, but I'm still, like, so beat up. All right. All right. That's pretty good. And now, now just take the rock slide. Okay, Ringo. You just have to hit it with a 95% accurate move. Phew. Legitimately getting worried anytime I'm using a move that's not 100% accurate. See, at this point, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, sweet. Two Pokemon grew to level 32. And yeah, as you can see, my whole team gained like two to three levels on this route. It's it's a lot. Um, and now... Okay. And now we get to see the big looks up close. And we get stairs. Stairs that lead us out of this terrible route. And we'll be climbing the rest of those stairs next time. So thank you so much for watching. And next time we are moving on from this difficult route and into, well, the next town with, as we can see in the distance, the next gym. See you guys then.